So you know Lil Yachty wrote that song for the City Girls, right? Act up, yeah. 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 So I'm like, yo, I'm about to start writing for female rappers. You about to start writing for I'm going to start writing for female rappers. Now, you know on Cutting Away Podcast, you got to come with bars. I'm coming with bars. So is, this is your, like, revealing to the world of what you about to oh, come yeah, with. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. All right. Lakeisha. So, Lake- ooh, ooh. Lakeisha. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, all right. What's, go ahead, Lakeisha. Ready? Oh, hold on, hold on. Wait till that beat drop, okay. man. All right. Oh, wake cutters and babies. I'd like to introduce you to the musical sounds of Lakeisha. Let's go. Bad bitch stallion. Areolas big like medallions. See a nigga make his dick harder than a sca- Wait. You can't laugh through it. You can't laugh through it. That's damn with that. Run that back. Run that back. Run that back. Hold on, hold on. Time on. Run that back. Yeah, start it over. Yeah, start it over. Dan, oh. don't laugh. That's so don't laugh. Punch through that. Oh, you punch no, through no, hell no. That. This is this, this is, is serious. Honestly, rap, honestly, bro, you you white. Let's just get that out the way. Yeah. All right. And no it's, giggling. It's, it's no giggling over these bars. I'm sorry for talking. Bitch. I'm sorry for talking over a strong black woman there. I <laughs> Thank apologize. You. God, we about feminism, dog. All right, Evan. I Evan, I usually say cut it off. Cut it back on, Evan. All Turn right. it back on. Let's go, Lakeisha. One sec. Here we go. All right. So look, you basically saying. You tired of these females? Right. Well, weak ass bars. I'm like, y'all got bars. So I'm a, I'm a. All you got to do is write from a male's perspective and then just change the pronouns. Okay. Mm-hmm. So right. it's like, hold on, hold on. Wait till that beat drop. Hey, Dan, move that mic just in case you laugh. Move. I don't want to hear you. Yeah, we, you're throwing me off, you're Dan. You're throwing my man off. You can't throw me off. So look, this is what we about to do. He about to lay these tracks down, and if you're an upcoming, inspiring female artist, Lakeisha. Here we go. Let's go. Here we go. Show the work. Uh. Toe tap. Uh. Uh. Bad bitch stallion. Areolas big like medallions. See a fine nigga dick hard like a callus. Send me Uber Eats. I like them scrimps and them scallions. Ooh. Ooh. You a goofy nigga, Jimmy Fallon. Ooh. I need some big, big niggas and I'm getting it. Yeah. Vegan ass niggas coming up with them little meats. I'm uh-huh. coming to eat. Ass big booster seat. Ooh. Get used to me. Ooh. Uh, I'm a dime piece with a nine piece. Nine of them. And I'm not playing with y'all hoes. Uh-huh. And I'm playing with y'all. Ooh. I got all the money. Uh-huh. I'm a little offbeat. Hold on. You are? Get I got it. the Draco. Get it. For the fake hosts. Mm, and I take posts. Let's take them. And Here that's it. And yeah, that's, that's it. it. That's, that's, that's what we got Toe right tap. there. Show the word in toe tap. Show the word mm. in toe tap. Show the word in toe tap. That was the musical sounds of Lakeisha. Lakeisha. That, okay. That's a something light. That's, you that's know what something saying? light right now. Right, let, let, let's pick it back up with Rolly Boy. But before we get to Rolly Boy, we got Dan on the mic. <laughs> uh oh. The white guy. Uh-huh. Here we Yo. go. Mm-hmm. And we're going to end it like that. Show I've the word. Toe tap. Yep. Show the word. Toe tap. <laughs> Show the word. Toe tap. Go. On Malik's podcast. Lucky he's funny. Okay. What? Got dropped from another podcast. Now he has no money. Whoa. He thinks the podcast game is going to take him far. Yeah. Okay. Even though now he sleeps in his car. I got up. We saw the mattress, bro. Wait, wait, hold on. Is this a disc? We saw the pillows, though. No, I, was, I was moving that day. Oh. So, hold Down on. to one hoe. Wait. That, <laughs> and no flow. Wait. Nowhere to go. Wait, what the fuck? So you is, sleep in the parking lot because you don't know. Yeah. They kicked him out of the parking lot. He has to go. <laughs> oh, keep going. Oh, the police is coming, so you go now. Yeah. He has to go and change his pro now. Oh. Little Keisha on the beat. Let's Keisha. Then. Little yeah. Michael McDonald on the beat. <laughs> and we, and we, and we, hold on, just show the work. So t- I didn't know you was going to diss me. I didn't know you was going to diss you. I didn't know you was going to diss me. Hold on. We had no support. Like, right, hold we on, just sent the shots over. Okay, hold on. Okay. I got to send it back to him. Let me see. Look, Uh-oh. look. Okay, hold on. Roll the work. Toe tap. Show the work. Toe tap. Show the work. Here we go. Look. That shit was sad, my boy. You out here looking trash, my boy. That shit was really mm. bad, my boy. You call that man your dad, my boy. That <laughs> okay. really ass, my boy. Matter of fact, you trash, my boy. Cook it up. My boy. Cook my boy. Up. My Cook boy. Hold Cook on. Hold on. You weak, my boy. Uh. That shit is not no heat, my boy. You better think before you speak, my boy. That shit is really sleep, my boy. Better talk to him creep, my boy. You know we playing for keeps, my boy. Yeah. yeah. But, Okay. My boy, my boy, <laughs> man, and just, just, just cut it off, baby. Cut that shit, bro. Just cut it Jesus off, baby. Christ, that was great. We that ate. was a ten minute intro. We just ate. flows. We, we ate. ate. We goddamn ate. 
I was ready to do that for the whole hour. <laughs> I was <laughs> ready. We got a forty minute freestyle. A forty minute. <laughs> Turn this shit to rap city again. Yeah, it's about to get fucking crazy, dog. Yes. All right. Well, welcome back. This is another spanking brand new episode of Cutting Away with Malik B. But on our cameras, I got my main man Evan. What's up, boys? Man, appreciate you, Ev. But hold on, before <laughs> we got to introduce our guest, man. Okay. <laughs> This guy with the long, luxurious hair. You see it. You see, you see it. <laughs> he goes by Keith, but his stage name is Lakeisha. Lakeisha behind Very, the booth. Behind the booth. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. I would say San Diego, but you wasn't born in San Diego. No, I'm, I'm all over. You all over, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this guy is worldwide. I will say global, but I you, you was in the military. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's say gr- worldwide. The very funny Keith Johnson. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. And it's next Slim Shady. Do mine now. <laughs> if, if, if you're looking at this video, it's going to be hard for me to <laughs> keep a straight face because I'm so mad. Because I'm looking luxurious. With his hair, it looked like he speaks in cursive. Let's just get <laughs> uh, it, This guy, I've been known. Him, he's responsible for my body. Thank Let's you. get that out the way. I appreciate I, you saying that. Okay, I, I give credit where credit is due. The guy you you want to know about anything about sports therapy? Mm-hmm. You want to know the, one of the funniest guys? He's from Thank Cape you. Cod. I mean, he's that means he got a little racism in him. Matter of fact, a lot. It's just a, a lot. Pinch. It's a just lot. A pinch. It's a lot. It, it just, just a lobster pinch of racism. A lobster pinch. Mm-hmm. Well, you know that's crab cakes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's start clapping right now for the very funny Dan Donahue. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Appreciate it. Thank y'all, man. Thank y'all for pulling up on the podcast. Yeah, man. Okay. Why great. is that, that seat looking empty, bro? You... Oh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. I want to give credit where credit is due. So Keith goes, he was like, man, Malik, we ever thought of like doing a boxing podcast? I was like, nah, why? He know who would be dope? You and Jamar Neighbors. I was like, oh. So I hit up Jamar. He was like, bro, let's do it. So I, I, that guy is very responsible. Hey. But I am loyal. Right, so this seat is still like you know cold right now. Okay, mm-hmm. and I feel like I can't trust. You know, I got trust. Right, right. You got. I got trust. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I brought you here today to audition to see if you can sit at the end oh, of the couch. Wow. Oh God! Yeah. Wow, wow. It'd be an honor. It, yeah, because you know them seats. I'm pretty sure that's uncomfortable it's, it's for you. It's a little uncomfortable. Yeah, exactly. You too tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You got long hair. I'm right, pretty right. sure it look comfortable on yeah, this couch. Yeah, with the green background, the like green, green is my color, yeah. and then, yeah, I got the. Blue. I didn't know that. Yeah. And what about you? Well, you're um, white, so you just... Well, that's true. I, I, so I've been reading the autobiography of Iceberg Slim, um, okay. and I've actually decided uh, to, in this competition, actually, I'm taking the other route, and I'm going to say, uh, I don't need this. Wow. Wait, wait, whoa. Yeah, I don't need it. It's wow. a little small for me. I don't really need it, but, you know, that's just the mentality I'm coming in with. Cold. That, that, that was a cold. cold. Mm-hmm. I like it, but it's like it's like not desperate. You know, it's like the one guy at the bar that, yeah. go, that yeah. ignores the girl, and the girl's like, "What's up with that guy?" Exactly. Now I'm kind of so kind of psyching you out a now, little. Now, see, bit. Malik, I could leave this garage that we're in and find <laughs> ten of you. Why did okay? your voice get so? <laughs> wow. Now he's I getting a little aggressive. He's passing the line of mysterious. Now he's just aggressive. Yeah. Okay. All so right. I'm making. The, I'm he's yeah. asserting his dominance. I'm going in for the kill. Oh God! It got okay. Sorry. Keep going. Oh shit! Who you want to be with? <laughs> wow, you got a choice. Oh, hold on, right? His hold accent on. changed a little bit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Who you want to be with? I was like, hold on, bro. All right, the golden <laughs> tips. It's high pitch, but also low pitch at the same time. <laughs> all the time. Hey, would it would when uh, that girl was negging you in in the restaurant? What did you say yeah. to her? Oh, um, I'm wonderful. I'm wonderful. <laughs> I'm wonderful. And meant that shit. Yes, I did. I said that with my. It was crazy that I said that, but I just said it. Just came out of nowhere. Explain the the, the context. I yeah. was I was at I was at a, a gathering and uh, I brought I brought someone there and there was another per- a woman there and the woman was trying to get with the girl I brought. Yeah. So her plan was to neg me in front of everybody, kind of Ooh. belittle me. Okay, but. I didn't let it happen because you just read the book. Because I read the the now, now autobiography for the weight cutters and babies, the autobiography of Iceberg Slim, who was a bad it, person. Well, he was a pimp. Let's yes. just call it what it is. Sure. Yes. Okay. And, and and pimping, they did. That's why I heard. Sure. And it's not easy either. It's so, not easy yeah. at all. So again, he's teaching you. And again, it was some moments where he had a little sexual experiences with yes. the other kind of. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. So we won't put that out there. So I don't know if that's it's for all. It's for everyone. Dan is reading it. Continue. Yes. Um. And yeah, so she 
the girl I brought goes to the bathroom and she's like, oh, she's so hot. And everybody at the table's like, oh, yeah, she's so hot. She's so hot. Like everybody's talking about now, it. this is big for you because you normally don't get good looking women. That is absolutely not true. You know <laughs> that's, that's not true. I mean, it's getting big for you. You know what I mean? You go to the restroom. You, bro- you, bro- you bro- <laughs> usually bring a date around me and she mm. goes to the bathroom. I'm like, Dan, you should leave as well. God damn, you bringing a date. First of all, I would down. never bring a date around to you because like I said, I'm hanging out with more successful podcasters at this point. Wow. So I, I would bring around like maybe Rogan, maybe like what the fuck? I don't know. Um, yeah. Who's another pop, more popular podcast than you? Uh, yeah. This Bo- guy who Bobby lives in the Lee. basement. Yeah, Bobby Lee. This <laughs> guy who lives in the basement of my apartment complex. Who talks Joe, about- Joe Budden. Joe, Joe Budden. <laughs> Yo, Joe <laughs> Budden. Check Joe. out this girl I'm with. <laughs> you, don't trust, you don't trust Joe over me? It, no, it's not a trust thing. It's just you just I, bring them around. Well, I want them to know. I want them to know the heights of my life, and then I'll bring them down to kind of like the level that you're on. And what level is that? That's, that's, a, great, that's a, a great level. That's a great um, level. A you good know. friend, buddy. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to show that like he has range. Yeah, okay. he, he, you. he hangs with the top, but he also like has charity friends that he like gives. But anyway, his time go, to. going back, going back, going back to the story. Malik, you look her. We'll deal with that later. Um, <laughs> and the girl then turns it on me, and she goes, she goes like. How did you get with that girl? Like, how could you get that girl? Like, I mean, you're not all that good looking. Like, blah, that is blah, true. Blah. So she was giving you Malik energy. She was giving me Malik energy. But okay. again, that's what the world gives him. And I have to say, <laughs> working out for so long with this group really did kind of test. I was like, you think you got something for me? I have been I have been fighting away some of the most negative comments about my stature, about my race, about... You have to earn it every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have yeah. to fight every day. We play defense, hard mm-hmm. defense every hard day. Defense. It's not, we don't come, nothing comes easy, easy over there on the uh, Lexington app. Yeah, and just, just for the listeners, these guys work out at a trap house, basically. Yeah. <laughs> You've been and there. Don't try to say it's, 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 I'm not saying it's not good. I'm yeah. just saying it is yeah, an absolute. absolute junkyard dog hang. Hold on, it we is. built it. We built it from the ground up. <laughs> we did. Okay, yeah, so from again, the mud. the mud. When the quarantine, when the gyms was dead, we put our money together, finances. It's like Rocky. Uh, is, was it Rocky two where the? Oh no, Rocky three where they go to where Apollo Creed trains. Yeah. you know that one. Way worse than that gym. <laughs> <laughs> those guys, those guys like started at the gym we we're at and then went to Apollo's gym. <laughs> and was like, one, man, yeah. this is like Equinox. <laughs> There's what? definitely hepatitis C on the on the, on the on, bar, yeah. bar. On It's bar. scary to go from your car to the side of the yard. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. the real journey. The working out's easy. It's yeah. just like the dangers of getting to the gym. It's a long ass driveway. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. You got to turn your car at a certain angle. If you don't, you hit the house uh, again. Get back to the story. Yeah, and, and and she turns on me. She's like, "Oh, you're not that far. like. How did you get her? Da 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 da." And I just take a I I pause and I I get the the audio book kind of surges through my body. I'm go <laughs> because I'm wonderful. <laughs> I, like, yeah, I said it. You said it to convince yourself, though, out loud a little bit. A little bit. Maybe it was that. It just my whole body shut. It's like something else took over. And I said, because I'm wonderful. <laughs> she tries coming back at me, and I'm like, hey, look at me. Stop nagging me. Ooh, and she did. Wow. She stopped nagging me right there. You put a name on it, it floats away. If someone's ever like nagging you, you just call it what it is. Said the thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then it, it disappears because it's not, it's not, a, it's it's like not you, a game anymore. It's like you're putting a mirror up. Exactly. This is exactly Thank what you. you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Well, it's like, I know your strategy. Mm-hmm. It, it's like putting their whole roadmap in front of them and being like, yeah, I see where you're going with this. Mm-hmm. It's easy. Okay. It's Larry Bird saying, look, I'm going to I'm gonna hit this three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, I like The that. best yeah, basketball yeah. player to ever live. Thank you. you wow. Say, wait, what? What? Oh, because you're from Boston. <laughs> uh, well, that doesn't have anything to do with it. What do you mean? You think he's better than Kobe? Yeah. R.I.P. You know, I don't want to put these uh, legends against each other. I think they're all <laughs> wonderful, you know. <laughs> now, Keith, he just spilled a lot of bullshit. Uh-huh. All right. Now, now you my guy. You know, this is a hundred grand back in the plan in the van, in the yeah. caravan with me and your friends, right? Um, that was in Iceberg Slim, chapter 26. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that was a good chapter. That was a good chapter. Yeah. <laughs> my, my favorite chapter. <laughs> right. um, yeah, bro. So you, you have no problem with women, though. No, that's, not that's at a, all. Yeah, exactly. No, 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 no. Okay, a lot of people don't understand that. And this guy di- did everything. Like, you're talking about a guy who appreciates a woman's body. Yes. And he, you know, and we got, like, a lot of similarities with that. Mm-hmm. He done everything with a woman. You know what I mean? He pre- <laughs> what you laughing at, Dan? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I do everything with women. What are you talking about? Okay, everything. no, go on. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. I'm progressive. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you out here getting dissed with by women. My man is getting kissed. By women, you oh, see okay. what I'm, well, I'm a lover, not a fighter. That's mm. that's what I, you know. Explain. I tell people about your background, man. Um, man, I've I I've been loving women since the day I came out the womb, from the womb to the tomb, and that's <laughs> that's just what I do. Um, I read Iceberg Slim at the tender age. Of, I, I think it was like my third book 
the Hungry Hungry Caterpillar, uh, <laughs> I'll Love You Always, which is for my mother. That's a great one. So I love my mom. Ooh. And then I took it to the women. I was like, I, 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 like lo- I love these hoes. I love the hoes. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to just put it like that. And okay. um, Keep going. You know, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a proud feminist. Uh, I support the women's movement 110%. Mm. And, you know, I, I just, like, I, I wake up every day. I wish all the women... In on my Facebook timeline, a happy birthday. Uh, that's every one of them. Yeah, yeah even, even the ones it, you don't know. Nope, just Damn, happy man. birthday. I know you don't know me, but I want you to have a blessed day. That's that's just what I start my morning. Bro, that's off called with. character. Yeah, yeah. I, you got a lot of it. I'm trying to make days out here. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's it. That's I, it. I, I, think, that's I think I think that first round go to Keith. Thank I you, think that thank first you, round you, go you, to you. Keith. Oh, we're still competing. <laughs> we're never not competing thank you, oh, exactly yeah. and that's why you know a girl can come up to you and say Yo, right. you're not that special I'm just having fun okay alright well again now round two okay um, we won't talk about dominance okay you know like your physicality what mm-hmm. about a, what, what characterize you as like a real loyal person you know what I mean what, you a man bravo you know, let's go to Dan because he's laughing. Those right? are three different questions. Yeah, you that, said, those are a lot of let's questions. Let's talk about you asked. dominance, yeah. and then you said, you know, let's talk about your physicality. Yeah, let's talk about <laughs> yeah. And then bravado, which yeah. is a word that I don't think you necessarily pronounced. Or I, well, I, I didn't say it, but I can say bravado. But I'm right, just, right, I'm right. basically saying, no, here's the thing, Dan. I know a lot of words. Sure, I mean, you do. Yeah, I'm gonna walk at the sources. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's I remember when I first met him. He had uh, the word of the day. You the word of the yeah, day. Used to carry the word on the Webster. You know what I mean? Again, so again, I'm gonna walk at the the sources. I mm-hmm. just don't. Is that a dinosaur? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. I thought so. It also, it was... isn't a thesaurus like yeah. s- words that are like other words. It's a syn- It's a synonym. It's an anonym. It's a uh... goddamn. Sorry, nigga. sorry. I was just checking. Just what the checking. hell? I'm on, I'm on your team. Yeah, no, no. Back to the competition. My okay, bad. Yeah, my bad. My bad. Shit, you're, you're the judge. Oh, I'm the judge. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. Again, all right. all right, cool. All right, what mm-hmm. makes you a man? Uh, what makes me a man? I just, I, you know. <laughs> Ever since I was born, you <laughs> what know, a question. That's a it, question, was, right? uh, it, it was right out of the gate. I yeah. started, well, I was born in Cape Cod, obviously, which is kind of the only place they make real men anymore. Wait, what? No, no. It's a, it's a lot of UFC. And, what the fuck? That? <laughs> it's a lot of UFC fighters. Well, I, I can't agree. Mm-hmm. If you're from Cape Cod or anyone in that like Rhode Island, that, that Boston area, yeah. you're not going to knock them out. No, like they, yeah, you, right. they're going to put up a fight. That's one thing about those. Y'all can take an ass whooping. Absolutely, so that's that's good. All right, continue. I actually, I was born and immediately got my ass whooped. I got jumped by all the nurses in the room because they thought I was too muscular to like be brought into the world. So all of them just pop, 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 pop. That's how long it. T- they were all stomping me, what and was I made your it BMI out. Of there. When yeah, you came I, out. I was. About to- you know what? I was. Um. So like you know, babies, how their their skulls are kind of soft. Mm. I had double hardness on my skull okay yeah double muscle you know those cows that have like double muscle yeah. that that was me growing up and i was i was at four percent body fat right <laughs> you, out of the gate you, I'm were, not born. Gonna you were born like like a fucking hero basically. i was born a hero okay, okay. you were a bull yes, yeah that's exactly. what bulls do no not like an ox a little bit like an ox you was an ox <laughs> i was an ox yeah exactly. okay. just say, out, say it out I, loud i'm an ox i'm an ox and i don't believe you're a man because if i can say that and you repeated me you kind of i'm yeah, an ox no keep, hey guys keep, guys guys guys, guys 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 i'm an ox <laughs> i like that thank you i like that ev. he's wonderful too as well ev, I, I a can, wonderful yeah. ev, i can see a little favoritism i don't want to throw that out there because it's skin color but again <laughs> I feel it. You feel it, Keith? Man, you wow. with you a little bit. Wow. Yo, yo, I don't like this at all. Okay, I'm gonna go with Keith. Keith, okay. I show a totally different question. Thank you, thank you. Thank okay, because again, all right, we are no, you a man. Right. Come on, look at the hair. All right. Now, now, <laughs> why you tell the story about, about when you saw Keith uh, with his hair that one time. What do you mean? You know the, that <laughs> picture where his hair looked extra good. Oh, bro, Keith tricks. Bro, Keith be tricking <laughs> real dudes. He be, he got some real ones. So Keith was in Miami, right? And he was like, bro, I was out there living. I'm out there on a, on a yacht with lawyers, right? I'm like, oh, hell yeah. He sit, shows me a picture in the middle of a conversation. He's, like, from the angle, it looked like someone's taking a picture. Like, he's taking a picture of all the baddies, right? And then I see this one baddie, right, <laughs> laid down with, like, long, luxurious hair. She had, Your like, type. The, Your type. Yeah, my type. Your type. The eyes yeah. out and turn, like, she was sitting. Yeah, put it to the camera. <laughs> Bring it back to focus. Look at that right there. So I'm like, <laughs> which one? Which one? Who is who? Is the question. So this. so so Keith is the one laying down. Hold on, get, put it back to the screen, Keith. So Keith is the one laying down, with, and it's three women. I'm like, damn, Keith. Which one? I'm thinking he took the picture, right? 
So I'm like, bro, who's the one, the baddie that's turned around? Because, you know what I mean? She got little arms and shit. She got her legs out. He was like, dude, that's me. <laughs> I, was, I was like, Keith, you motherfucker. You mother <laughs> I'm a bad bitch, bro. <laughs> I had no choice but to write these raps. <laughs> Yo, Keith can trick a real dude at night, all right? right? I had the curls popping, too. He had the curl. You was in Miami. He laid up, sitting down like a baby mama. I'm like, okay, cool, Keith. You got Dick. that one on me. I got yeah. the... Yeah, thick little blazing. That's what that's what they call me out in Miami. And you you have Korean and half black. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you real street and you smart. Yeah. Okay. Got you. Now you was born like you was a military baby. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So I was born in Denver, Colorado. That's that's where the uh, brutes are made. That's where real men are made out in Denver, Colorado. I like that. That, I like yeah, that. yeah. Yeah. So um, that's what I did. I ran the streets for my first two years of life, and then um, lived in Kansas. I lived in Florida, Hawaii. I've been all around, all over. You know. Yeah. Okay. There's a saying: been around the world three times, spoke to everybody twice. That's, I like that saying. Yeah, yeah. I like that saying. So, and also, uh, I can respect a man that's traveled. You world traveled. Yeah, yeah. yeah Mr. Traveled. International. Mr. International. Yeah. And that for, for that, I give you that round. Thank you. Now, thank you, now. It's two nothing to keep. <laughs> <laughs> now I thought that Evan was joking. Okay, <laughs> and it was told to me. <laughs> and I just think yeah. that Evan should have us. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough one. You, know, I will say the thing about Keith is yeah. that he's his energy and his voice his is voice. so calmly. Yes. Uh, dominant and yeah. and uh and like manly but also casual that it's like i just believe everything he says you believe like, everything he's he the says? kind of guy that yeah. could they could talk me into like giving him a bunch of money for some business that he started Herbal at a bar yeah. because the way he speaks is so just like focused and like powerful that i'm just like whatever you want man sure i totally it's, understand i here's my credit card number you, you think, want. you got that voice true and that's great now say something about my voice what i will say it's a different energy uh -huh. <laughs> not a bad not a <laughs> worse just and thank Different. you for saying that. Yeah, no, absolutely, no problem. And thank you for yeah, saying that. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm glad that you, you know that was my now, idea. Keith, get past damn bullshit. Yo, <laughs> did you ever like you get that a lot, right? About your voice, oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. cadence. Yeah, I like the tone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, last telemarketer I was on the phone with, she was like, "You need to do radio or Malik's podcast," and I was like, "You know what? That's crazy that you had because <laughs> yeah. I'm actually auditioning." Yeah, yeah exactly. To do, I yeah. love that, and it's, it's popping a little bit. Yeah, yeah. so she heard 11K. it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Hulu right. customer service rep. So she, <laughs> she's familiar. <laughs> All right, listen. We only make right decisions on this couch, yeah. so two nothing. Now I'm gonna get to. I'm <laughs> Damn, gonna get to what's Dan. going on, man? I'm um, gonna get to Dan. No, no. This is where we gonna get to the real nitty okay. gritty. I, I'm not playing anymore. No, nah, well, you have. You to. have to, and no. Dan. Let me ask you this. All mm -hmm. right. Now <laughs> this room, cutting weight podcast, is we about fighting. Sure. Right. You know. Now you're not. Uh, evidently, you look like a school shooter. Let's just call it what it is. That's not now, true. Now, school shooters would never listen to Michael McDonald. <laughs> He's too stealthy. That is He's fair. Too that's fair. That's fair. He's too you, know you know If what? I was, if I was ready, if I was getting hyped up, I'm listening to Insane Clown Posse to do that. I'm listening mm -hmm. to Marilyn Manson to do that, which I do have those CDs also in my car. But if I turn on some Michael McDonald, yeah. everything's going away. Listen I'm going to relax. A you girl's going to walk listen, in my car. He had us listen to Michael McDonald doing a workout. Yeah. And I'm so mad because his white guy from Detroit has soul. He does. But I, it's I, undeniable. I get, it's undeniable. It's undeniable. It's but undeniable. I get, undeniable. It is, it is. He, he, he fired. He fire. But I get mad because he tried to like, <laughs> he, he remix all the soulful black songs and he kills it. I'm he like, does. He, he has a little soul of his own. If he if he missed, it would be awful. It yes. would be a train wreck. But yeah. he doesn't. He doesn't. He, he never does. He brings that so, sort of flavor. Mm -hmm. And that's, you, I can see a little Michael McDonald. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah, you very much. Without the flavor. Now, okay, no, that's not true. Now, on this you said a nice thing and then you said a mean thing. No, I'm just keeping it real. Okay. Now, now, when was your last fight? Um, I've never been in a fight. Ever? No. Never been in a fight. You want to you tell us about that word? Explain. Uh, well, so when I was... I can't trust the guys who've never been in a fight. Sure. Well, my yeah. shoulders were just too big for anyone to come at me. And if, if they were smaller, I mean, maybe I would be like you guys and people would have tried to fight me. But my shoulders were so big that kids saw them and they would be like, that's who I want to be, not who I want to fight. Wow. What so you were inspiring. Yeah, more of like a Tony Robbins figure. God, I, I didn't I, see that. That's actually exactly what happened. Yeah. yeah, his kids would see my shoulders and they wouldn't be like, I want to fight that guy. They would be like, I want to build a business. I want to be a better man. I want to be a husband. And these were third graders, but they were like, when I grow up, I want to be a good husband. Because all about your, your body. My, shoul my shoulders. Your That's pure dominance. I've seen his shoulders are pretty fucking yeah, strong. Yeah, yeah, my shoulders, my biceps. Right. Yeah. What the, I'm sorry, what was the question? Uh, Keith, the um, question goes to you. Man. Uh, when the last time you've been into a fight? Like a real fight? Yeah. Uh, 
I'd be in internet fights. <laughs> hmm. That's yeah. more that's more real than any fight these days. Absolutely. It's, yeah, you guys really stay in the fucking pocket yeah. for hours, yeah. possibly days on end. I like that dedication. Uh, so it's like I'm looking to win the war, not the battle. So like, <sighs> you know, like every morning I wake up, remember I said I wish every woman a happy birthday and then I then I go to war you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> man why are you wishing why are you wishing my girlfriend a happy birthday <laughs> and then you go in yeah, yeah I, go, I, I go to that. war you okay. know what I mean that's that's just what I gotta do damn he's All got right. that emotional cardio that emotional, yeah he's, he's yeah. Like, and you gotta have you know how much focus you have to have to be on your phone all day just arguing with different people yeah Damn, it's so many words, Keith. A lot of, lot of vocabulary words. A lot, like, I've actually read The Art of War. So I'm combining, I'm doing this thing where I'm combining The Art of War and 48 Laws of Power. Together. T together. Oh, I like that. Okay. Yeah, I 48 love Laws of War. So I'm just, oh, I'm coming ooh, at it. Yeah, shit, yeah, we didn't shit. even see that coming. Mm. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Bro, it's like every time I ask you a question, just, you drop knowledge right, on me. Right, Get right. your ass hey, on this couch because hey, I'm, I'm tired of, I'm hey, tired of playing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just stay, just, okay, just, okay. we got to go to the judges. I got a little excited. Yeah, we got to go to the judges. I should have uh, played it cool. You should have played it. Yeah, like, that, that, God damn it. You were really good. Okay. He was really good. Is he faking nothing? He uh, might be lying. It's the voice. No, I don't look, think look it was that. that. I think it was just. <laughs> This is a certain dominance. I'm honestly. <laughs> there was a misstep. He took advantage. He took yeah, advantage. Yeah, oh my god! So he's playing the long game. Yeah. See, I was explaining my war tactics. He's at mm. war too. I, I fucked up. You fucked up. I get that round. Round goes to goddamn Dan Donna. Yeah, I want god. you guys to notice how back and low my shoulders are right now. That's perfect form. Thank that you. Is perfect. Posture wow. is popping right that now. Is. God damn. Wow. Okay, can you chill? No. Can you breathe? This is my podcast now. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, two one uh, to goddamn Dan Donahue. Jesus, Dan. Um, right, at the, right at the one yard line, dude. Right at bro, the you one yard fumbled. line. I'm sorry. Damn, you kid. know, you know what happened? It, it was it was a juxtaposition because he said he never fought before, but he has on black Air Force Ones. And yeah, I'm dude, like, dude, put the shoe I cam. We up. were gonna do shoe cam. Put shoe cam up. Put I thought cam. we were doing shoe cam. Put shoe cam. Wait, look at this wanna... goddamn twenty one <laughs> savage. Did you put it like, Look at this black Air Force Ones. G Nikes, the high top with the fucking strap. With the strap. Strapped up. up. You yep. ain't gonna catch Dan lacking at <laughs> all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he. Yo, I can run a four two forty out of this place anytime he, I want. He is pretty fucking fast. He, Thank he, you, buddy. No, no, yeah. I give Dan used to run track. I did used to run wow. track. Take, tell the uh, wake and babies about that. Like how what got into you? Like got you into track? Um, I played football. And everybody saw me play football and went, you shouldn't be playing football. Why? You was, you was I, too fast? I did something. Well, I'm glad you asked. I did something where I ran with my head completely up and my chin out. And they said not to do that. And I didn't know how to not do that. So they so were like, let head up, chin out. Head up, chin out. Look out. Because I was looking at God the whole time. You were the oh, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, yeah I was, okay. I was, I was so religious. A lot of people you was celebrate Christian. God in yeah. Well, of course, you was Christian McCaffrey. Well, well of course, but hey, uh, he, agents and executives oh, might be listening. Gotcha, to this. Gotcha. God, uh, God. <laughs> we'll, but, play um, about, we'll play about that. But go ahead, continue. But uh, a lot of people would celebrate in the end zone and say, "Thank you, God," or like I, I did it on the field. I would be looking up, being like, "What do I do now? Where do I go?" You see? Oh, see, I like this because it's a place to a religious audience. Wow. Yes, as well as he kind of explains, hey, it's not all about the the highs. Yes. Oh my God, it's, the journey. it's a balance. It's, it's a balance it's, with it's the journey with God. Right, he's it open is. to journey. receive. He's right. open. God wanted me to get tackled a ton, but you never, and that was his journey for me. Mm. And you got tackled like quite quite a bit every time you touched the ball. Oh, just about. I got stripped uh, for a touchdown more than one time. Wow, and mm -hmm. that's what God wanted. And God wanted mm. to. God wanted that. And do you think God wanted you to do that? Or you think the coach just stepped in and basically said, Dan, you're not made for this. Sit your ass on the bench. You know, I like to think uh, I like to think both of them worked together. <laughs> I like to think okay. I like okay. to think Coach Cabe and God had a real tight connection okay. there. Uh, God uses people. God uses. So you, you said know? his coach was a vessel. A vessel. Yes. For what he, for your track career. My track career. Wow. Let me ask Keith the question. Yeah. We're now, Keith. Uh -huh. <laughs> want, He's on his I'm, phone now. I like well, that. Yo, don't He's disrespect done. me. Wow. Like, Dan, Dan, don't That's disrespect me. That's a kind of power I, move, though. I'm, I'm, like no, I'm sorry. I have texts to make. <laughs> uh, to make to make he doesn't have them then you receive them <laughs> he just has to send them out <laughs> there's some people there's some people I haven't there's some people I haven't talked to in a long time that yeah. I'd like to reach out to <laughs> wait, 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 wait. right here in the middle of the podcast you well, can't break concentration where am I gonna do it I like my car time that's, that's my true. time that's not texting time 
Oh, this so, is a power. He's power moving that, all of us. That right is now. a power this move. Is, yeah. I, and honestly, I'm intrigued. I okay. like that. Okay, continue. All right. So, Keith, I'm gonna just I'm gonna go straight out with we'll, it. We'll we'll stay locked in. Okay. So you're very athletic. You a yeah. hooper. You a hooper. Hooper. I play baseball, football. I, I do it all. Oh, I'm, do it all. Yeah. I'm like Dion. Damn. Yeah. Explain the background. Like, did you have like, what your come up process? Like, what made you get into like all this? <laughs> it's it's like I'm just good at everything. Okay. I, I believe. Um. That. And so then I was just like, I, I got to take my talent to rap and comedy. Mm -hmm. And I so that. that's just. Because you humble like that. A little bit, yeah, yeah, Because, yeah. again, you could have, listen, I seen this dude hoop. He could easily, like, been in the yeah. league, you know, baseball. We believe him. Look yeah, at his hat. Yeah. And, again, like, yo, uh, what you said, soccer or whatever? Uh, so yeah, uh, I, I call it football. You call it football? Okay, yeah, okay. I, I play right. European. You know, I don't really fuck with America. Mr. Worldwide. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Worldwide. Yeah, yeah. I don't really fuck with America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, football with a U. Yeah, football. Okay. Yeah. Football. Football, yeah. What is it? Foot? F U T B O L. Football. Football okay. Americana. Okay. Yeah. And, bro, it's. I, 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 you heard the accent. I heard right? the little yeah, accent yeah, a little bit. Bro, yeah, are, you, are you. I roll my Fs. You roll your Fs. Yeah. Football. Fruit. Fruit, fruit ball, ball. Yeah, yeah yeah are you you're an actor as well yeah yeah i, I you know i i, I dabble <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. do you think dan dan mm -hmm. can you can you get back to the podcast sure but can you give me one second to do he's why he's watching highlights <laughs> you watching highlights <laughs> have of, you seen this video wait, this is the middle of the pot you've been wait, what's going on what's what do you mean he's, turn he's it, watching turn it. fat man dunk fails he's just watching compilation videos <laughs> This is a bad Have you seen that video God before? Damn. He's watching the WNBA yeah, highlights. <laughs> no, I like those. No, I like those. Wow. Is, no, he really watches WNBA. Really? Dan watches WNBA. Whoa. This is yeah. like layups? <laughs> Strong layup. Strong. No, I'm just, I watched this video yeah. the day and it was like a funny music and the whole thing was like the biggest highlights of the year were just layups and I thought, and it, was block like, shots. I thought it was like a funny, you know, Did you funny see, bit. Uh, there's this, th there's a WNBA war right now because Skylar Diggins hit this like super dope move and then she laid it up and then uh, somebody posted they're like well y'all y'all still lost and then Skylar was like bitch shut the fuck up and then everybody started chiming <laughs> oh, in and was like shit. yo those are fighting words You're gonna, so there's Ooh, gonna be a little uh, big fight in I, like the idea. I like that I like that listen they need to have women fighting the WNBA I'm with you it. want some mm. eyes on you yeah, go ahead yeah. and fight it's like hockey they need it's, to kind of just let it. let the moment go and in the NBA I think they should let them both fight in the NBA yeah that'd be nah, great nah nah you see what the fans doing Oh yeah, man! Come on, yeah, that's, that's I like smoke. I yeah. like the idea of a guy who, because you know how like people were mad, like white people were mad when people started dunking in the NBA. They were yeah. like, "Oh, this isn't basketball." I like the idea of a guy who's so racist he just watches the NBA because of that. Wait, wait, like he refuses to watch the or he he just watches the WNBA uh -huh, cause, because because there's too much dunky in the NBA. He's like, now this is how basketball is played. <laughs> the pure, <laughs> pure, pure, pure yeah, steel, my, my yeah. kind of game. <laughs> this is my what we God. want. This is what the middles. my boys do. <laughs> and then that one, and then like uh, the few women who do dunk, he's like, no, <laughs> fuck, you're, fu you're fucking up this good game now. Shit, yeah. <laughs> that's a great idea. Now I want to go back because I want the fans to know. Like when I say this man really appreciates a woman body. Yeah. You do everything. And I mean everything. We oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, lo I love all all parts of a woman. You now, know. is there anything you won't do with a woman? There hasn't been anything that I haven't done with a woman. Yeah. Like, like I mean, like you've done everything. Like Everything. You ate ass? Yeah, I've eaten the booty. It's, it's right there. Just go down there and just, you know. That's that. That's 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 that's. Yeah, the real question though is, yeah. have you gotten your booty eaten? Wait, wait, wait! You have let you a woman eat the booty? Have you not? Hell no, I haven't. No, have you? Yeah. Wait, hold on, Tom. Tom, Tom. Are we? Are, 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 I, did no, love, no. I did love. I did love. That's that's. I'm not. I don't know about the round. Yeah. But I, it's a sub point for the just direct and there was no skirting around he went straight to it it he was just straight. like bam yeah. bro to point A to point B so like, do you lose a point since you haven't gotten your ass eaten no no Evan and I haven't done that at all Evan, so again have you got your ass we, eaten we uh we ripped so, wait. <laughs> wait wait so so F F F here's what I'm gonna say you know what I appreciate your courage thanks buddy yes Bravery. <laughs> Bravery, you know, I was inspired by that. I was, I was gonna do kind of a, you know, I was gonna be vague. Yeah, Evan, you're a man with a nose ring. We know where you've been. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> we know exactly where you've been. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he's been doing this shit for he's years. Been doing this shit. Bro. <laughs> Finally, my you got a nose safe. ring and a vape, dude. You've been run through, dude. <laughs> 
He's a high mileage on him. He's got through. some high mileage on him. <laughs> I've been run through. <laughs> how, how do you do it? It's some miles That's the on question. That, yeah. How do how do I What's your perform position? or how do I get performed on? Yeah. So so wait, hold on, hold on. Before you ask that question, so <laughs> F, you just sit there and shut the hell up. I did that nose. This whole time, I'm thinking, man, my man's a good student, a good guy, Christian. This guy literally Not had Christian. the whole nose ring. He's eating ass. Now, now, Keith, because again, Dan, I already know you probably got your ass to the ceiling. Do you? <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't. Keith. What a girl, was she just giving you head and she went underneath down there, or she you just laid on your back? I mean, it, it just depends on where you're at in the moment. Look, I live in the moment. So <laughs> Thank you. Sometimes you got to present. You got to kind of, you know, <laughs> you lift, you're getting, you head, you're getting ahead yeah. and then you got to like lift up to present. If, oh, for people who uh, who aren't watching, he's doing what's called a hip bridge. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's doing a hip there bridge. There we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like the barbell Bridge. You got to get in bridge pose yes. for, okay. for the ladies. <laughs> the bridge pose. Yeah. <laughs> so what if what you just lay down on your stomach, watch your TV? Then you kind of arch it. You put a pillow underneath your stomach. <laughs> 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 so there's a bit of prep involved. You need a, you need a good supporting yeah, pillow. Yeah, you got, and she got that long ass hair. You got that long hair. Right, so right. Sometimes if she pulls my hair, just like, <laughs> just, like <laughs> she she has to let me know she's about to do it. So sometimes she'll just pull my hair from the back and then just open mouth kiss me. Just, uh, <laughs> like you like kiss you, me like, from the back. Yeah, <laughs> like she the dude. Yeah, you know I, you gotta <laughs> allow women to express their their masculine energy. God you know? damn. I didn't know. Whoa, shit. Okay. That's how you masculine know, I, I am. I gotta say right now, I don't think I want to share the couch with some prude over there. Oh, right. You know what I mean? The tides are turning. Yeah, I don't think I want to share the couch with some, you know, sort of like Puritan, whatever well, you're doing. Quaker some shit. Some Quaker. Yeah, yeah. Is well, this our podcast now? Well, no, it's not. Now, Keith, no. I was going to say something to you. I, I, I feel it. Like, we're, we're definitely, you know. Over just some ass. So ass eating just brought y'all together. I so, think no, why no, are we fighting dude? right all right we got to join why forces are we Look, fighting? Oh, 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 I just got on a straight path, you know. I don't did know. you think so? When it was offered to you, did you think like maybe this would feel amazing? Never thought about that. Never thought about. What are you it. afraid of? I don't like you know you don't like that you know be playing in that area. You know? Why like, not? What do you mean why not? I'm just asking. I just I just feel like it's 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 more so of you know I don't you you ever heard the saying don't play in the bushes? It's mm -hmm. a bush back there. This is a really funny thing. So you don't your asshole. That's what you're saying, no. one. Well, this is a really funny thing because it's like men have this idea that's like all of my body is like a man, right? Like a salt. But then like for some reason they think like inside of their ass is like a gay wonderland. Well, that's where it's at though. That's where, that's <laughs> right, right. where it stops though. That's where it stops. It's like, yo, listen, that you all man. But you, if you had a little bit of like soft in you, it'd be the asshole. Right. So why would I have a woman expose that? And then you, I already know when she ate y'all ass, y'all probably laugh. <laughs> like you do a little, little, little uh, yeah. well, it, you naturally tighten up, but you, the, tighten up? you gotta uh, let God, you gotta let, you gotta go, let go, go and God. let God. Yeah. yeah. Y'all yeah. Yeah, listen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you brought God in this yeah, shit. Yeah. So it's really a vulnerability. <laughs> it's a, yeah. So you're not vulnerable. You're not willing. No, I'm very vulnerable. Okay. I'm very vulnerable. I'm willing, but I only to attack by me. Right, right. So I, well, I understand mm. you don't want anything in. I'm, I'm the same. I don't want anything in. But you could loiter around. I'm fine with that. Mean? Also, I'll put on record. Okay. <laughs> Wait, you're fine with in? Sure. Oh, what the? Sure. Wow. Get, the, get your ass off this podcast now. <laughs> get your ass no god. <laughs> Wait, wait. You talking about fingers? Sure. Yeah. Wow. Wait. What? Yeah, it's one. Like, what about you, Evan? Evan? I haven't gone there yet. But, yeah. I'm, but I'm not saying I'm opposed to it. I just haven't gone inside. I haven't journeyed inside the tunnels. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What the fuck? Nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. I've heard nothing but good things. <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> so what are, what are they doing when they're getting in there? Um. Well, I want to get graphic on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's just change the subject. My mom's gonna listen to yeah, this. Okay. I don't want to get graphic. <laughs> let's, just, <laughs> let's, just, let's just change the goddamn subject. Wow. I did not know. I work with you. I work out with you every day. I ain't sure. know you have fingers stuck up your ass. Yeah. That's why you squat the right so person. Good. Yeah, that's true, <laughs> that's dude. I have so a low, and that's why you have trouble with it. That's why you're so shaky. That's why you got a little deer legs, dude. Wow. Oh, you got baby legs, bro. They're getting stronger. They're getting stronger. Let me ask you this. 
<laughs> Let's get back to fighting because I got to fight. I got to get out of battles. With wow, this. you're in uh, the corner right now. Yeah, yeah I'm in the corner. Right. I got to so fight it out. Malik, we're gonna we gotta release that toxic masculinity of Let's yours. Let's do it. Let's yeah, do yeah. it. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. You gotta like next next podcast we're on. You gotta get your ass eaten by then. I'm not getting it. What the? Fuck? So we're gonna check back <laughs> no, in in two weeks, check in. <laughs> and we're gonna we're I'm gonna talk about your experience. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not doing it. Don't Why? worry about it. No, it's it's not for me. You know you know how well, you don't know if I'm not saying. Like so, you had it more than once, yeah. And that's your thing. Look, here's the thing: going from like it, it, it increases your stamina. So going from like round two to three or one to two, it gets you right back up. It gets you right back but up. That's, that's what Gatorade is for. And it, Arizona tea got that is the Gatorade of sex. Me, I just Ooh. get bored. You're bored with women. I just get bored. Wow. <laughs> no, no, wait, 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 women. Oh. But just in the situation. Are you trying new? No, I'm kidding. I okay. I think it's just nice. It's so wonderful. It is. Yeah, it is. Nice. I think it's just nice. <laughs> wonderful. It's, it makes you feel that wonderful. Is a, that is the perfect. It, it's wonderful. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> Have you ever felt wonderful? Yeah, I mean, you told the girl I'm wonderful. What's that? You told the girl I'm. Yeah, wonderful. I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. You and know, was, and I felt that. And that's a layered statement because you're letting her know, like, hey, I I do all the things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking try. Like like I've been gonna... through the fucking ringer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, listen, I I, I want to get breeze past what the fuck y'all. Y'all bet you do. That never that never will happen to me. And again, I, if, if listen, I've been asked, but I'm like, nah, it's good, I'm cool. I don't don't ask me that. You know oh, you mean? wanted to take it? No, 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 don't take it. Listen, okay. if, listen, if we went to jail. <laughs> hey, hold on. Well, not take like you hey, want her to like, no, command it. it. Like you want to be dominated we by a to, woman. We mm. went to this this the the I think the most sexual thing a girl done to me that I felt like I was like, man, is, am I the girl here? Was lick my nipples. I was like, don't you ever? But then you, it was tingling. I was so mad because I didn't know how to fuck the feel. You know what right, I mean? Right. So again, I was like, I never do that again. So right. I, I, yeah, you know, you gotta. I'm a man at all, at all times. Now we go to mm-hmm. prison. I know who's gonna be my cell buddy. It's nothing, none of y'all. Why okay. not? What do you mean? Why not? Y'all, y'all booty hole strong. I think. Fair no, enough. your booty yeah. hole is wide open. All right. <laughs> Sounds like a hell of a cellmate. That's a hell of a cellmate. Ev, you want some shit right now? That's a hell of a cellmate. You don't want me another, my cellmate here. <laughs> having another white guy on the podcast really opened Evan up. In the <laughs> exactly. Right. I never, wow, I he's, never heard this Evan. Is nice. Evan is acting like different. <laughs> this is great. Every- no, but he got both earrings in. Yeah, exactly. He got all three earrings in, bro. This thing is a different person. I wish Evan could sit on this couch so people can see. Yo, uh, Evan, I've never seen Evan carry on like this, bro. Wow. This is, yo, He's okay. It. Okay, look. So uh, we was talking about this earlier but on the podcast. What would be some dope, right? Because, you know, we was talking about fighting, right? Yeah. Some boxers. What are you, you know, boxing name? What are comedians, like, names that can be, like, a boxer? Uh, Michael Blackson. That yeah, that's Michael Blackson a boxer yeah, name. Michael Blackson a boxer. And then so we announced like, this, in this corner, wearing red, black as hell, <laughs> moving around a lot, <laughs> weighing one hundred and sixteen pounds. Most of them, his eyes, his <laughs> eyes weigh that much weight. <laughs> we can't understand him when he speaks. Uh, Michael oh, Blackson. Blackson. That nah. that kind of sounds nice. No, it doesn't roll. Nah, that, okay. that's, no. that's that's weak. Yeah, we're that's gonna weak. keep it black. D Ray Davis. D. Ray Davis sound like a black like a boxer name. Yeah, he sounds like a journeyman kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he yeah, like yeah. It doesn't sound like a world champ. Though. Right, right, okay, right. That's fair. And that's that's fair. Sound like, but D. Ray Davis sound like he'll give you that work though. He'll right, keep, exactly. Yeah, yeah. He'll, right. Keep, he'll keep you in the pocket. But he would be Sugar Ray Davis if he was a if he was a but boxer. I didn't think about yeah. that. God that's damn, right there. Sugar Ray Davis. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think about that. That's hard. Okay. But again, that's not a world champion name. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I, I'm just gonna throw this out here. I don't know if y'all wanna you just play with it. Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. That's that's a strong name. That's but a, that's, that's a great fighter name, though. That's an 80s champion. 80s that's champion. That's a champion in yeah, 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 today's yeah. era. Yeah, no. So but you need like a Garcia. What's a, what's a Garcia? Ooh, yeah, like, uh, oh, Felipe Esparza. Felipe Esparza? Wait, Felipe that's a, that's, Esparza. Is, he's, not, well, he's not big enough for the, like, the masses, though. What like, do you mean? Like a lot of people. Do you know him? Oh, okay. I'm just sorry. When I say mass, I say black people. You know. All right. Oh, this, fair this, enough, fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm just. I didn't know that was gonna get. But he knew it. So again, Mike. No, F- Felipe Esparza sounds like a young guy. He sounds like a guy coming up like uh, who Ryan Garcia, like Ryan Garcia, Felipe Esparza. Like those, those yeah, sound like kind of like a, similar. Like a yeah. Doesn't like weigh a lot. Yeah. Doesn't weigh a lot. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Yes. Fast. Yes. 
Fast and little. Mm. Here's somebody who's not a champion, but he's flashy. Chingo Bling. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. He's in Houston. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. He's like a Prince Nassim yeah, kind he of guy. He comes Nassim. with like, like tassels. Yeah, and tassels. Shit, yeah. and he, he does Moving shit like around. this. <laughs> let's keep it. Let's keep it down south. Okay. Sadi Ali. Sadi okay. Ali. Yeah. Ali. I mean, you, you look, he sound like a middleweight. You know what I mean? Look like he's just like there like a brawler. He'd be there all 12 rounds like a mm-hmm. Joe Frazier kind of guy. Get mm-hmm. beat up but won't get, you know. A world champion in multiple weight classes, Whitney Cummins. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, sound like the quote. Uh, earthquake. Wow, that's a good ass. Uh, yeah, yeah. Come on, you yeah. see it on the pants. That's the, yeah, earthquake. earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can't you can't really do that though because like Southern comics with nicknames just sound like fighter. Like Killer Bees is just a fighter's yeah. nickname. What about yeah. Kevin Hart? Is that, is um. Yeah, that could be a champion's name. Yeah, champion's yeah. Name. yeah that sounds like a can- champion's name. All yeah. Right, all right. Spank but, Horton. That's that's his homie. Nah, that that sounds like a journeyman. Okay. That's okay. A, again, uh, what have you played around with? Um, Phase on love. Oh, he's not really a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's more of wow, a comedic what, actor. What no, he's it? a comedic actor. Okay. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Up. That's oh Vince Vaughn. If you want to go a uh, comedic actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a Vince Vaughn is cool. Yeah, that's a cool name. I think alliteration does well. Yeah, you know. Mm. All right. Well, I don't know if Faze on Love does comedy. I apologize, please. Oh no, he called out Chappelle and said he wasn't funny. So like, this is you <laughs> back in Chappelle. Coming back yeah. in Chappelle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, comedy hype. Oh, comedy. Oh no, uh, DJ Vlad or comedy hype. I think it was Vlad. He was like, Dave Chappelle's not funny. He's he's white people funny or some shit. Bro, like what that. about Vlad, Vlad TV that gets like these people saying stuff they would never say in person? <laughs> like, yo, he's just he's behind the camera, right? And you know, Boosie stay on Vlad TV. Yeah, he should just, it should just be him and Boosie. Honestly, it should just be Boosie. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why Boosie needs Vlad. Boosie should just like put a camera on himself and just talk. Start talking. Yeah, but he, for some reason when he does that, he has a camera that's on the back of a flip phone when and he's doing it. Yeah, you can't see it. Yeah, you can't you can't, put yeah. on live, I'll give you a thousand dollars. Exactly what he said. I saw yeah. a video, I showed him, oh. and the girl was like butt naked, right? And then he was like, yo, and she was like, he was like, yo, lick, her, lick your breasts, right? He was like, lick your breasts. And he was like, man, lick your titties again for them homies in the pen, man. <laughs> She would never see this shit again, man. I was like, "What?" <laughs> and she did it again. Just the idea like, people in the pen have uh, have uh, eyes, iPhones, yeah. but can only access Instagram exactly. on IG Live. Yeah, yeah, because they can't get tits anywhere else on their iPhone. Good point. Conceptually, Good point. <laughs> that was just him trying to like, come on, do it for my friends. I think I it. think Boosie is like one of the greatest rappers alive, uh, as far as like he's the guy who's willing to say anything, sure. and he has like one of of those one or two lyrics that he could have kept to himself like in <laughs> yeah. his song yeah and i was like I, like we were going to keisha house could have put it in her mouth I, she had on a band-aid i didn't know she had aids and i'm like yo you could have kept <laughs> yeah, that yeah, line like boo said you rap it didn't you? and just in case you didn't like hear like man did i hear that he'll double down like man she had that shit i'm like okay and it's a it's a jam it's a jam it's, just it's to a, make sure you knew like you knew. i meant that yeah, i meant that i wasn't I joking apparently, <laughs> apparently aids is that shit you right know sure I mean? interesting yeah but i like boosie he's a national treasure we should we should protect, protect. yeah yeah Absolutely. protect boosie at all costs and man. also another guy who's like there's like little duval Lil Duval? Yeah, Lil Duval, yeah. another comic. Yeah. That uh very that, Is that a good boxing name? Lil Duval? Damn, that, you ain't lying about that. Right. Lil Ooh. Duval. Lil Duval. Cause I can you can just But boom. why don't fighters have like little in front of their names? What do you mean? It's it's like only rappers do. Yeah, but that's but again, imagine you trying to fight man. Who you fight tonight, man? I'll fight Lil Dan tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna beat this little ass. But wouldn't that be good no, if the no. guy, you know, right. just to throw if, you off guard? Dan, Lil no, Dan you, was a monster, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. and he's just eating people up. Like, yeah, you, who you gotta fight, man? Lil Dan. Lil Dan be coming <laughs> with it. He's strong. Yeah. His name ain't little. He's strong up top. <laughs> nah, I'll be mad as hell. You like who beat you this weekend? And, a little, Lil, Lil, Lil Dan. Dan. <laughs> who? <laughs> he on the rise. Lil Dan on the rise. I wonder if a boxer come out like yo uh rapper names. That'd be hard as hell. That would be cool. Like yeah. the baby Johnson. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. The baby yeah, Johnson. The baby, who you got I gotta fight the baby this weekend. <laughs> it was a it was a uh, fighter named Big Baby Big Baby Davis. Oh uh, yeah, Big Baby Davis. Wait, was that Wait, basketball? Yeah, yeah, that was a basketball. Oh yeah, it was a basketball player, but what's uh Big Baby uh Davis? He's a boxer though. He got caught with uh steroids or PEDs. Oh wow. Yeah, uh, he was a heavyweight. It was there was Big an Baby. MMA fighter with the nickname Big Baby also. But I think that's like world. Yeah. yeah. Big Baby Henderson. You know nah, who I fucked with back in the day? Left Hook Lacey. Do you remember him? 
Oh yeah, Jeff Lacey. Yeah, Jeff, yeah, Jeff Lacey. I fucked with that guy. He was uh he got beat by Joe Calzaki. Yeah. Like bad. He though. took he took some L's later. He took on. some L's. Yeah, Why yeah. did you like him? I don't I don't know. I just I think he was from Florida. And mm-hmm. I was like, I I'm gonna support this guy, man. He didn't I, like Winky Wright, who was from uh Nah. Nah, oh, just right. you know, I'm particular. All right, bro. You know? It was a little similar. I mean he light skinned, cool, got defense. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> yeah, that's your point. Yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah. fair. I mean, you, can't, you can't argue with that logic, right? Right. Now, Dan, a lot of people. I, I mentioned you on fighting the kids, so you got my uh, my uh, body right, and also you have the worst MMA takes. But if t- well, not how do you worst. mean? No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. I have uh, been right. Wait, wait you have I, to admit, I have been right in certain things where everybody disagreed. With exactly. Me. Yeah. Like you called a lot of upsets. Yes, I've called a lot of upsets, and you also said. Like the game has changed, and that's why you you pick because you bet on these fights. Yeah, I bet on a few of them. Yeah, okay, I bet on the them? ones I really believe in. Yeah, I've I've won a couple by betting on them. Absolutely. Did when you it's win? just MMA, he's great. But when it it's MMA boxing, that's no. when you believe in MMA too much. No, no, yes, no, 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 exactly, yeah. no, because exactly. he's at Tim Planet. He rolls around. He got it. You know. Yeah. He, no, 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 no. Okay, let me let me make this very clear. I am not one of the comedians that thinks they are a fighter. Okay, I do fair. not think that. I am bad at every every combat sport I am bad at. And I openly admit that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think it wasn't necessarily overestimating. Uh, like, you're talking about the Jake Paul stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, w- I don't think it was. I think it was this just underestimating. Dan. What do you mean? Yo, you. Okay, so Go I, but I'm going to cut you off because we had a full-blown argument. And I want the people to hear this. Yeah. So when Jake Paul knocked out um, Ben Askren, right? Yes. Uh, we had an argument that I was like, yo, is, uh, MMA fighter is not going to beat a boxer in a boxing ring. I don't care who it is. He was like, that's not necessarily true. Yeah. He said Nate Diaz will spar with Andre Ward, and, and they were like, yo, he did all right. Now, when a boxer said he did all right, he can hang, that really means, like, I was going light on him. Yeah, he can do he do his little shit but for them, but not for a fighter. But, but, but what my real point was, and the one that you, like, I still do kind of believe this, is there's MMA fighters who have, like, real boxing credentials. Not necessarily at the highest level. Yeah. I mean, I'm not talking about, uh, is it Clarissa Shields, who's, like, the, yeah, the the incredible yeah. boxer yeah. who's going into MMA now. Not, and not she even won her fight. And she won her fight. But it, like, um, who who am I thinking of? It's like uh, Israel Adesanya had a like a very small boxing career. Six, and we could look at him. But and it was it wasn't it was at a point where I would be like, yeah, I think Israel in that ring it has not only that experience on top of that, just professional athletic experience. Yeah, but but again, I hear what you're saying. But UFC, you have what six? Probably was four ounces, six ounces gloves. Yeah, it's super different. It's super different. But I'm and saying time, he's fought in those big ounce gloves. And again, when the last time he fought, that was early in his career. You got Jake Paul who's been doing it for the last four years, sure. who's consistently hanging around with a lot of boxers. His last fights doing throwing setup shots that look great, like a real boxer. Sure. He's surprising not, to me. Yeah, no, I was, I was, uh, I was surprised by it, and I was wrong uh, in okay. that fight. Yeah, okay. I knew on. Ben was gonna lose when I saw his body. Like he just, oh, fat, yeah. <laughs> he was built like a loser. I was like, yeah, he's not <laughs> built like a loser. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Bill, I'll like, beat Ben's ass in a boxing. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. You'll like, beat him in a body contest. Yeah, absolutely. Too, absolutely. Yeah, keep, tell people you used to be fat before you start yeah, working out. Yeah, with I us. lost twenty pounds in like two weeks thanks to he Dan. Body wait. by Dan. Body by Dan. Body yeah. by Dan. Sad Thank you for body by Dan. Exactly. I like, how, I like how he has twenty pounds on him. You call him fat. <laughs> it, was, it was like pure fat. No, no, no. It was it was sloppy. It was yeah. like Ben Aspen. Yeah. Oh. It was like he yeah, had a body could, just like I could do six sets of uh, six pull ups now. Yeah. Damn. yeah, I'm very yeah, proud of you for that. I have, to say, I have to say, you also uh, pick up on stuff quicker than most people. For sure. That, that's pure mostly athleticism. you. You, you do have pure them. athleticism. It's yeah. true. You just let yourself go. You already had a dope body. You just like, you know, yeah. I'm going to be fat. See, so what I did is immerse myself in comedy and that's late like eating and shit like that. Just mm. high stress. Like I could withstand, withstand stress. Mm-hmm. So I just immerse myself in that. And it's like, let me clean this shit up right now. Get back into fighting shape. So it's like it's it's like a test for me, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta I like keep that. myself occupied. Okay. Well, anyways, we we're, we're around <laughs> fighters. Speaking of fighters, um, so Dan, mm. like, right, he's he's an MMA guy. Cool. I like watching it. He like watching. I'm not a professional analyst. Okay. But he, I like and, watching also, it and he, talking he, shit about I it. I say very this. Much. Can I don't know. I don't. Want, I, don't, I don't want you to get mad at me when I tell you the story. No, please. Okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> and maybe this will make it into the podcast. We'll see. <laughs> he okay. has he has all rights to like. Yeah, he has all right. Yeah, exactly. He sends his edits. He said, yeah. like, I'll, send my, I'll send my edits and don't worry about it. <laughs> so Dan, right? Also dabs in boxing gloves a little bit, right? Oh, so, you're gonna tell a story about how I got dropped. 
Yeah. It's out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. What well, story then, were, did you think he was going yeah, to tell? What story I was going to say? That time that I did really well boxing. <laughs> <laughs> what? You know. You know the one. Those that couple of days <laughs> where I was hitting pads and I was looking like like I was. Okay, I was so really let's balance something. this out. Go ahead. We broke the heavy bag. Yes, thank you. So we'll balance it. We'll, we'll yeah, do some balance. Yeah, me and Keith so, broke the heavy bag with our yeah, yeah, yeah. So shots. For one, y'all was throwing weak shots. No, 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 no. We were throwing vicious body shots. The, ba- the bag, for one, you see, you've been to the trap house. We broke the cement. We broke the foundation. No, of okay, the- can I tell the story, though, of getting dropped? Go ahead. Can I tell the story? So, <laughs> yeah, it's your podcast. I would love to, I would love to tell the story. I'm just chilling. So, um, and I don't know why you want me to tell this, but I'll tell it. Okay, go ahead. Um, because you, you, you argue me down, but you're not an MMA fighter, but again, it'll go. No, of course not. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Okay, no, oh, if you're using this as an example of what I'm saying, you're out of your fucking mind. <laughs> but again, that's no, what I, that's what an MMA guy would look like. No, you're so crazy. Bro, in a This boxing, is a bad argument. No, it's not. I am a comedian. That pla- that trains No, not really. I go to how like many, how many times do you I go do to the gym? children's karate. That's basically no, what not, I do. No, not children. See, he's, 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 he's being humble. No, I'm being humble. Now he's being humble. Yeah, I go to Tenth Planet. Like, but I'm still a fucking white belt. <laughs> like, I don't know. Anything. You have your gi. I don't have. No, we don't do gi. Okay, you don't gi. Okay. No, we don't. Go ahead. All right. So, anyways, go ahead. But it is a. I, I go to the. I go to the gym. Yeah. I'm hitting the punching bag. Malik's teaching classes. I hit the mitts a little bit. And then Malik goes, hey, go work with Jamel, our friend, our yeah. good friend. He, he's like the fourth member of this kind of group. We were moving around. I guess I'm leaving myself open for a few things. It looked like you took you back to the football <laughs> days where you was like, I'm looking up at God. It was. I <laughs> love for, I don't know why that's a natural instinct for me. <laughs> he goes in and jabs. Chin, so chin up, eyes to the sky. And, and, and my foot, and Jamel is a left-handed. Is a, a southpaw. Which I'm so bad, I didn't even conceptualize that that's the foot that was forward. So I'm not even thinking about that. I'm treating him like he's orthodox. Yeah. So I'm not thinking about my foot placement. My foot is right on the inside like deep on the inside and i move into jab and he I just kept, i kept telling you you did yeah i was like yeah i wasn't know. thinking you were, you were like watch your feet watch your feet and he just bang now our friend jamel i've been training him for like four or five months and he got little hands you know anybody you know hit the pads you want to like see if this shit works and you know when he gets in there with like someone like dan or something of course you try to work around it's fucked up because i, I didn't want him to take that shot but he took that shot and then Dan gets so upset. And I didn't way, get so upset. I, I, I was, I was, okay. So was, if someone drops okay, you, a, would you a, be mad? How long were you down a, for? It? Let me tell you. He was oh, down, no. he was down for it. Cause he was like, fuck. I was like, yeah. oh, that's that white boy. But that was, that was two things. That was anger that I had been punched. Not specifically at anyone. It was, it was just general anger that I had been punched. Number two, it was shocking. Cause I hadn't been punched in the face. In a long time. Because you remember, I remember you, can we say this? You had your nose fake. We used to move yes. around. And yes. then you had, it was like, bro, I'm about to get this, my nose done. I had my nose fixed. And it hurts. Yes. So we, I used to spar with Dan. And, you know, we just, Wait, like, you got a nose job? Yeah, yeah I got, got a nose job. job. I'm also a, a bad bitch. You also, yeah. <laughs> wow. God okay. damn. Thank see you. how this. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Points for Dan. I'll get, yeah. Thank you, buddy. His nose, your hair. I mean, unbelievable. Put them together. Yeah. What a combination. Like, hell yeah. That, I mean, Ooh, should we sure. both go on the couch? Yeah. <laughs> just I think we should switch seats. We should switch seats. We'd be like the 85 Get Malik over some of his hang Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, but, um. He, so we were sparring and you know he was like yo watch my nose so the fact that he hasn't sparred since your nose are you moving oh on? I haven't sparred that was my first time sparring at a speed faster than like touch sparring mm-hmm. since I was 18 okay yeah now now again I, I just want to show the similarities to like a UFC fighter versus a boxer right so you see UFC fighters again alright look, look Tyron Woodley right we had Sean Porter on the last podcast you know Tyron I, Ty, Tyron's a bad example of what I'm he's a saying wrestler? though well well because of a few reasons one is that is this interesting at all for the podcast I mean I guess we had we had Sean Porter on and yeah. a lot of people loved it okay yeah so um with Ty, Tyron Woodley there's a few things working against him his his age obviously but but mainly it's the fact that he not to my knowledge does he have any like actual amateur let alone professional boxing experience right but, but, so he's never had he's never had like in the ring you know fucking boxing shoes on uh 14 16 ounce gloves yeah. he's never he's never had that before he he. So Nate credit, Diaz. So Nate Diaz. To his credit, he had that. I, I, Nate Diaz isn't even the best example for it. It would be like um, Colby Covington 
or or Israel Asani. Like there are guys in the UFC who have like credentialed boxing experience and before they, go, they went into. But it. again, we go we go back to the gloves. We go back to the timing. We go sure, back to sure. The, but the I'm saying they would pick back up on it quicker than a guy like Tyron Woodley, who's never had or has even really, I'm sure, entertained like uh, a amateur boxing match. But you have the, you have this idea where it's like. A guy who's been training as long as Jake Paul, Jake Paul four years, could, four years could beat any MMA fighter in boxing. But you have this concept of MMA fighting as like uh, every MMA fighter has sort of the same amount of boxing skill or or their differentiation is only within the context of mixed martial arts. No, I, okay. well, I, I guess because I, I've been in the gym with the MMA fighters and trying to see their stand up and how they strike i'm like oh if they fought a which boxer, ones can i ask? i know tyron woodley obviously but who else tyron woodley uh a guy i forget the guy who came with Tyron. i don't i don't know their name sure, oh, it's fine but it's, it's, it was so long ago when i was in wild card before right. i went to floyd's and you get a couple of like oh um uh lee lee uh he was out of floyd gym um a middleweight uh sean lee or something like that a, an mma fighter with mma last fighter name uh, lee. Uh, oh yeah you know what i'm um, talking about He's kevin a, lee kevin, kevin lee, lee kevin, kevin lee, lee yeah kevin lee Perfect example. Go to Floyd's. He has a straight. Would you say he has hands? Kevin Lee. Um, yeah, I mean, but he he also is like he's incredible with kicks and stuff. He he doesn't rely on his hands. I would have to go back. I, I don't want okay, well, yeah, well, to say. I'm just terms. saying. I'm just saying. Like guys, who I've seen yeah, sure. stand up. I'm like, oh, if they fought a real boxer, and I've seen them spar real boxers. It's no competition. Sure. At all. For for those guys, but it's like you I forget the guy. But, but I'm not I'm no no nor am I trying to compare Jake Paul to a real actor. I think that's really the question we're yeah. talking about. It's like obviously there's no question that like a high level MMA guy versus a high level boxing guy, no Absolutely. not even a not even a competition. But Jake Paul versus who's, a high level MMA fighter, like Ben Askren, is not even like nah. a, like that dude is like a I, dude who just would do anything he could to not throw a punch and just yeah. grab you, right? Yeah. So it's not even a good. But it's like a guy who knows how to throw punches Correct. versus another guy who's been throwing punches for three years. That's a more interesting conversation, right? What you you gonna say? I was gonna say I think Jake Paul got it, bro. I think it, Jake, yeah, Paul, yeah. bro, he's been around like well known. Like I totally. know people that's been boxing with me, and it's like yo, Jake. He go rounds with these guys. Yeah. Now, now you might see, and look at his last fight. He threw one, two. Again, he got to work on his defense. But the way he set him up, set up that knockout, and, you know, had old boy got used to something, and then threw something that he completely didn't see, that overhand right, was incredible. That looked, he looked like a boxer. But, but tell me so, something, and this is this is a question to you. Is that, like, his technique, what he did, that's relatively basic in the world of boxing, correct? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's basic. But at the same time, it's it's look at his timing. Look at the crisp of his punches. Look at all that. You can tell he's putting the work in. What what really as, what really surprised me about this, and it's funny that people don't talk about this, or maybe they do and I just haven't heard them, but the fact that he's able to execute on huge stages yes. is yeah. great. Yes. Yeah, athletically, not he's not doing like a press conference or no. He's actually like in a ring. The the fact that he is able to perform yeah. at underneath a the light. High fucking pressure situations. Yes. That's what's most interesting well, to me about well, him. Also, you gotta understand that he's not not he's under pressure but at the same time the skill level is such a much more difference than other his opponent like look at nate robinson mm -hmm. he didn't spar the whole time he was in camp. i think that right. is so awesome he did not i spar love him he, he so went in much with for like, that. i got this, I'm I'm got this. I'm, yeah. I'm out. i've won a dunk contest right. i can do anything this like this dude you know didn't spar at all oh. so all he did was hit pads and ran that's and the that, funniest that's thing mistake. of all time. I, I, I love him so much for just, that. Just off that? Just the <laughs> blind, drunk confidence to be like, yeah, I, I got it. <laughs> I got abs, bro. Like, <laughs> I, you know how high I can jump? Like, bro, I can do anything. That's it. Like, I'm I'm Nate Nate I love him I'm for that, out me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what'd you do that? You're like, Come yeah. Come on, now I jumped over Shaq. I, I think what Jake Paul is doing, like, you ever watch, like, a newer, like, a... Let's let's say John Mulaney. If you watch his early specials, yeah, he's just doing set up punch tag, set up punch tag. Yeah. But he's performing at a high level, mm -hmm. and that's how you could tell if a comic's good. Like at his any any great special, Ali Wong, Dave Chappelle, like it's just set up punch tag. I think that's what Jake Paul is doing at the high level. So yeah. soon enough, he'll get enough fights where I'm not saying he's gonna be the greatest. Like he's not gonna be a yeah, go yeah, or anything. No. But within his caliber, like celebrity boxer, yeah. I think he will be pretty damn good because he's building on that platform of being like set up on and then soon he'll add his own little sauce little on it. A little sauce a little bit. And, 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 and again, I, I love I love how you put that. And just to piggyback off Keith, it's it's more so he's having a professional amateur career in front of us. 
Right. This is what you do in the amateurs. Mm. You have your first setup against someone who has like lesser skill than you, but you want to get the win. You want to learn something. Right. So that's why you go to a basketball player. Then that's why you go to a UFC fighter. That's I I want him to keep doing this. I and love I don't, it. I'm a big I fan. don't want him to move up in town. I want him to keep doing exactly what he's yeah. doing well, well, and keep I, fighting I like, uh, MMA fighters. Well, this is what he's doing. He's training with real boxers, but fighting weak opponents. So when he gets good, you see, you want to see the skill level differentiate, yeah. differentiate like with like them, his last fight. Like this thing is getting better and better. Sure. So that's, that's, that's all I said. Well, I, I think say this that opens this, up a, a, a world of like, where we're going to eventually be able to fight. We people. was talking about like, we're throwing shows. So I put it on the podcast, man, Comics fighting each other in boxing, and we'll throw a show. That's where it's at. That's where it's at. Because it's getting to that point. It's getting to that point. Uh, (laughs) There's a lot of niggas that we got to throw hands with, but you can't really fight in comedy because then you lose. No, it would become like the new podcast. Like once someone does it, now everyone has one. Why is why is comedy and fighting like come? I mean, because again, again, listen. Every you never you know how like every rapper want to be an athlete and every athlete want to be and a rapper and they're all and stupid it, for it. Well, again, you know you didn't grow up in the streets, so so <laughs> you didn't listen to you didn't listen to, exactly. Album, bro. You like, didn't grow up. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, Apparently, yes. we did. <laughs> actors want to be movies. St- I mean, actors want to be rappers. Shaq's, actually, you did. Yeah, yeah, good, did. Yeah. yeah, Shaq had a great album. It wasn't bad. It was I didn't high. think it was bad. I mean, you know, he had little bars and then uh, what's the movie Shaz- uh, Shazam? Yeah, yeah a little album one. But but it, it, th- that's different because those two things aren't necessarily like completed void. But it's like, why does every comedian have to be like a tough guy now? Because we got so much aggression. Again. I know, <laughs> and but we got to take it out we in punchlines. T- it's like, bro, I got to <laughs> punch somebody sometimes. <laughs> the punchline becomes yeah. a punch sometimes. Right, right, exactly. I don't know. It's just weird to me. Well, I, it, I'm not even saying it's bad, but it's just like a very strange trend that all these comedians are like you know, in Taekwondo classes and stuff and like <laughs> yeah, getting is, their stripes on their white belt. Yeah, and shit. Yeah. Like, go to the comedy store. Like do <laughs> your job. You're bored at with your job. Sometimes you need something like a new, like look at Kevin Hart. He's throwing hands. He's in the pads. Right, you right. see all these new, so again, everyone. That's, the, that's more rich guy shit to me. Like no. Kevin Hart's thing is more like he is rich now. So he's like getting in shape and learning how to box. But again, you I listen. Think it's, it's Philly shit too. It's like he yeah, wants, sure. he, he has some like shit in him where. Look he, at, uh, a perfect example. Evan, 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 we trained for like two, three months, right? And then mm-hmm. you was like, man, I, 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 wanna, I think I'm good at this. So then you try to like, oh, I want to, you know, you feel brolic a little bit. But then, you know, we go a little bit and like, oh, your head's down. He was like, yeah. You know, but, but you want to test yourself. Right. Like, maybe I am this kind of, I'm good. So again, he's- I think hitting- boxing's sexy. Like the concept of it being like, I can yeah. fuck someone up. I think that's why most people get into it is yeah. it's like, and maybe comedians too, because like traditionally comedians aren't like sexy, right? It's like depressed oh, artists, right? Yeah. And so I think it's one of those things where it's like, first of that's all, why, hey, oh, one second, no, I'm yeah. so sorry. I'm wonderful. Go on. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> I think it's like people want to look sexy. Like it's a sexy thing to do to, to be good at is yeah. like fucking I could fuck anyone up. Exactly. Right. It's like exactly. if it was just about fitness or anything, then people would just be working out. But I think it's like a sexy thing. So yeah, I think you know, it's, you're it's, you're right. But it does. It's like all of these incredibly insecure people. It's not. Even, it's not even insecurity. It's but, just. But all the comedians that are like it, it, it is every, almost every comedian is incredibly. I think insecure. that's. I think. I think that. Yeah, I give you that. But I just yeah. think like as a man, you want to love. You want to learn how to defend yourself. Yourself, right, and then once you know how to do that, let me test that. Right, you, you yeah. ever like being shape? Like Keith, you get in shape. You ever walk around like man? I wish somebody would run up. Right, right. You know what I mean? It's just that that security blanket. Like man, I really can do this. And I think, uh, I mean, comedian. We learn comedy because like growing up, if you if you got roasted, if you like, you either got to fight or you got to joke back. Joke back. So then yeah. we chose the route of comedy mm-hmm. and kind of opted out of fighting. So that's our like. Oh, I wonder what's on that side of the road, and that's us exploring. But that's the thing. That. Don't you already have this thing where you don't have to? Yeah, we don't have to, but we want to. Oh, okay, I'm not, I'm not about to. Yeah, we're not about to argue with Dan. Listen, I, <laughs> who's also to, a yeah. white belt? You're doing exactly, the thing. Exactly. You are I doing know. the same exactly. You're sparring. I'm fucking, you're that's what you're I'm saying. <laughs> I am dumb for doing yeah, it. <laughs> you're not. Appreciate but the you, consistency, but you still do it. Right. Sure. Exactly. So I'm saying on this podcast, but <laughs> Dan was about to get cauliflower ear, and yeah. we were like, "Yo, you put on chill. a fucking ear." Yep. And ear I'm glad. You're like, "Thanks for." I am glad to have black friends for that. What are you doing, what are you bro? Doing? You can't yeah. be walking around with ugly ears. He, he said cool. it best. It was like white people would just be like, "Oh, dude, that's fucking sick." Yeah. Yeah. Black, black, black. Like, Ew. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, look, <laughs> they got a kilo. What is that? Right. Hills have eyes. Yeah, nah, but we're gonna, on this podcast. We're gonna have like, Ab. I think we can get this like a camera, 
and then we would just start fighting before we interview. There was a there was um, an old uh, there was a show that Russell Peters had, and he was like, "Whoever wins this boxing match gets to open for me at like Nokia Theater or some shit like that." And it was like Abby Robert, I think Alex, Phil, like a handful of comics box. Yeah. And then that shit. See, yeah, that, that sounds that, like some rich guy shit to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Some for me. That's that's some Django shit. That's some Django shit. Yeah, that's some Django shit. Bro, hell no! Like, yo, go ahead. I want to fight amongst yourself for my pleasure. That shit does not do it for me at all. I mean, I'm sure it was maybe in good fun or something, but it's like just hearing that. That sounds deranged. Yeah, now that's fair. That's yeah, because you think boxing isn't funny. Yeah, exactly. I think that's also why you're probably Unless going. Unless you get knocked not, out, then that's yeah, it's funny. Not funny. That's yeah, funny. but if y'all both have a great fight and y'all it, it, boxing is funny if they don't know what they're doing and then it's they a karaoke. Go, yeah, it's karaoke yeah, a little true. bit. You know, you don't know what you're doing. Oh, that's right. fun. That's a fun way of putting it. It's like yeah, it's like karaoke. Yeah. You don't know what you're doing. That's cool. Yeah, All right. we got him. He's in. He's in. He's in. That's what I'm saying. So next episode, you see, like Dan and I are. I probably have you and Jamar just spar. No, was, no. Well, no. that's what we used to do uh, back at South. Yeah, we, tell them, yeah. Bro, tell okay, them. so yeah. we would we would sign up at four. The mic would be at six, so we'd have two hours. So there was this guy named Merv, this like skinny Mexican guy uh, who had gloves all the time, and he's like, "Hey, man, whoever wants to box, let's box." So it'd be me, Jamar, Mike Menendez, Garrick Bernard, a uh, whole bunch of people. We would just box outside of South for you know, because South he he sure. he watches boxing and shit like that. He mm-hmm. encourages that, mm-hmm. and we would all box Merv, who had incredible stamina. Like he was just a skinny dude. He's probably like one sixty, just skinny, and he just box all all of us. And then that's what got Jamar into Box. boxing. Yeah, like taking it seriously, but. Yeah, it was it was fun. Like you get your shit off and Keith then go has, do some mics. Keith has a video. Oh yeah, I, <laughs> of him. <laughs> oh wait, I haven't seen that. You no, haven't so, seen it? No, no. Keith, Keith has a video of him beating up another comic that we know, and he saved it. He shows me. He's like, they used to have like. Oh talk no, shit. not. Yeah, I'm gonna show it to the camera, bro. Can we show it to the camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, do you want to show it to the camera? Show it to the camera. Oh, oh, you, oh, oh <laughs> show it to the oh, camera, yo, for the oh for no, the weight cutters and babies. This hey. is another comic. <laughs> Keith, had, he showed me this video. Like they used to go in their room and his studio. Who whose apartment? Uh, this is Jack Knight. So it's Jack Knight's apartment. Look at Keith. What is that, Keith? Right that's Keith right there with what? his like yeah. Yo, yeah. look at Keith with his hair. Keith and Mike. And that's Jack. That's Jack in the background. Jack Knight. Yo, Keith, you look so much like you're from Florida. Yeah, exactly. Right here. This is real Florida. This is yeah, you look Florida. really Florida. This, this, this is Keith Black. <laughs> Are you playing it from YouTube right now? Why is it buffering? Yeah, why is it buffering? Bro? That's so weird. Hold on. Let me. It's a live leak. Yo, Keith will, <laughs> Keith will literally show me this video. All, I'm like, bro, Keith. And in his face, he has like a meme. He made a meme out the video oh. of him just like fucking. Yeah, it's right here. Look at this. Why is that? <laughs> Why is that? God, God, God doesn't that, want that. Yeah, no, there's yeah, no yeah. one but God. It's that's basically no saying, yeah. It's in 4K. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, you got it. All right, here we go. Look at this. Oh, keep, keep that hit. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Look at the edit. <laughs> <laughs> and he just got, <laughs> and he goes back like that. That's that street fighting stuff. Look at Jack in the bell on the couch. <laughs> I do like that Keith didn't like try to help him up. He just like stood no, over they, his dead body. Oh, no, no, because he he was talking, talking hellish. He uh, called me out, and uh, I was like, I'm not gonna buy. And he had went to Wild Card to train. Oh wow! So he got he like, for how long? Like for like three days. An hour. Afternoon. Like, afternoon. Like, afternoon. <laughs> yeah, like, I got it. And so He's the just guy, like, whoever runs Panda, who, who, who like runs Panda. Wild Card? Yeah, Freddie Roach. Freddie Roach came up to him and gave him a couple of like, okay, hit it like this, and then he was confident. He was like, yeah, is that okay, true? I'll, is that a true story? Because Freddie wouldn't. Or is is he, Freddie or Pepper Roach? One of them. Okay, one of them. Roger, yeah, Roger Roach. Roger Roach. Yeah, okay. like One cousin. of the Roach guys <laughs> yeah. came up to him. He's like, hit it like this. And then he started like feeling himself. Yeah. Just like, you know, like you said, comics do. They start feeling themselves. Yeah, exactly. And then he was like, Keith, I could beat you. And I was like, you're not going to beat me. He was like, yeah, let's box three rounds. And I was like, okay. Uh, or nine. He said nine rounds. And I was like, this nine is how rounds? I, this is how I knew he wasn't like, he's never boxed because okay. like you get in the <laughs> ring with no stamina, Bro. 30 seconds, you're done. Yeah. So I was like, we got to end it within 30 seconds. And then hey. like, we, I was filling him out and then he like swung at me hard. And I was like, okay, so I had to fight for run. I just Popped caught him. him. And then he, he looked up at me. He was like, oh shit. And I, I <laughs> like I, 
Put some mustard She's on that so bitch. so proud of that video. Bruh, Keep it, yeah. That's his highlight reel. That's in my <laughs> acting reel. <laughs> <laughs> he edited it. He spent time. Yeah, he spent time. It's, it's, it's like, like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a dope beat. He's very artistic. You send that to club bookers? Yeah, yeah. It's like, bro, I got hands. I got jokes. <laughs> I saw you booked Mike a week before. Well, look what I did. <laughs> look what I did. <laughs> but yeah, your headliner? But yeah. that's what we used to do in Florida. We just throw on some gloves and just box. Well, shit, we gonna bring that energy back out here. Yeah, so that's, yeah, that's, that's the, all it is, man. We just gotta call people out. Call them to the yard. And right there at that little trap house we train, we yeah. got everything. We got the little ring. We got the ring set up, and uh, comments can get it in. All right, before we wrap up this podcast, where can they find you at, Dan Donahue? Uh, at Not Bad Dan on Instagram. And you on TikTok. And I'm on TikTok. Don't go to that. Why? <laughs> yeah, right, he's right, the right, only right, guy right. that doesn't promote his <laughs> social media he's on. Don't, no. don't look at my YouTube channel. Do don't, not. Don't. That's it. Are you I'm Tell him why. Tell him no. why. Tell him why. Tell him why, not to, why can't they look at you? Oh, because it's bullshit. It's fucking bad. Like, who cares? You'll Just go to my Instagram. Dan I don't you care. At TikTok. <laughs> you know, I don't fucking care. Just by you saying that. He's fucking sweating. He's sweating. He's sweating. My favorite thing about that is like that isn't a direct call to like now everyone will exclusively look at your exactly. Yeah. No, no, no. Exactly. You gotta no. follow Dan on TikTok. No, that's gotta, no, no. Yeah, that's strong, no. Is that your strongest social media? <laughs> by, strong by what? what like you numbers? Followers. How many yeah, followers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you gotta yeah. follow where the nah, heat nah, is, nah, bro. Nah, 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 nah. Hey. I'm trying to diversify my portfolio. <laughs> 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 we know. I know exactly what kind of fans you got on TikTok. Uh, <laughs> what kind? What kind of fans? What do you kind have? Of fans all black people. <laughs> okay, black people with I actually all Cajuns. It's all Cajun <laughs> people <laughs> from the Bayou. They love me. I don't know why they love me. <laughs> oh, no, don't don't disrespect my people like that. All right, uh, and Keith, where can they find you, man? Uh, Keith Johnson HQ on Instagram. So okay. All right, man. Thank y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we'll have uh, Jamar Neighbors in here next week hey. with a big, Great. big boxer. That's going to be week. fun. Big boxer right now. We'll cut away. Thank y'all, man. I appreciate y'all yes, so sir. much. All right, bro.